welcome to another tutorial of the Performance Management and Appraisal System Series. I am your presenter, Constable Sashage Mullings Hyatt. Today we will be taking a look at completing the interim appraisal form. The interim appraisal form is used to periodically review how well an individual is doing at achieving the agreed target or the performance standards outlined in his or her individual work plan. It is used to record whether the individual is on track, that is, achieving or exceeding, or not on track, that is, not achieving the targets or performance standards outlined. Now let us take a look at completing the form. The top section of the form is to be completed with the appropriate information including the member's division, section or unit which he or she is attached, name of the employee, rank or position held, employee number, the period being reviewed and indicate using a tick for the quarter the period represents. Recall the individual work plan for the sergeant from PEMAS video 3B. The first three major tasks listed had a corresponding eight targets. Each target as outlined in the individual work plan is to be listed below. We will now check the status of each target to see if they are being met. This information will be taken from the tasking log, diary entries and registers or any other source used to record data and information related to the appraisee's performance. If the target is being met or exceeded, that is, the appraisee has been conducting an average of three or more VCP or PCPs per week, we would mark in the bracket X on track. If on the other hand, the target is not met, that is, the appraisee was only able to conduct an average of two VCP or PCPs per week, we would mark in the bracket X not on track. After all targets have been addressed, the appraisee is given the opportunity to make a comment regarding their performance to include any constraints, challenges or other factors including the performance at the section labelled appraisee's comment. The supervisor or the appraiser is required to comment on the appraisee's performance at the section labelled appraiser's comment. Please note that the comment should be specific to the appraisee's performance in the targets and or standards listed. If there were any amendments or commitments made between the appraiser and the appraisee going forward, it is to be noted in the section labeled Agreed Action. Both appraisee and appraiser will affix their signatures to the document. The reviewing officer or the supervisor of the appraiser is then required to affix their signature and date to the document as well. A copy of the completed signed interim appraisal is to be given to the appraisee while a copy is to be retained in-house. This takes us to the end of another PEMAS tutorial. We hope you are better equipped to complete your interim appraisals. Please feel free to make your queries by contacting the Research Planning and Legal Services branch at 908-4487 or 908-4744 or send an email to rplsb.ppmu at jcf.gov.jm. Representatives are waiting to assist you. I am Constable Sashige Mullings-Hyatt. Thanks for watching.